Hello guys, this is Vivek and welcome to the 19th tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about file permissions, directory permissions and all those things. So, what is a permission? So, permissions define the level of access for a particular user or group on, on a file or on a directory. So, <coughs> what kind of access a user or a group has on a file or a directory all right so to see the uh, permissions you can always use ls command i'll type ls minus l and then i'll see the list of file names so this these are all the file names present in the directory and we see their permissions <coughs> if you want to see the permissions only for one file you can always type my ls minus l and then we'll say the file name so we had the test.txt file right <clears throat> so let's see what it has got on the permission side so for permissions can be of three types read permission write permission and execute permissions now these three kind of permissions can be applied to file or a directory so when read permission is applied on a file that means it can read the content of a file if it's applied on a directory it means the content of the directory like file names can be listed now write permission if it's applied on a file that means the content of the file can be changed but if it's applied on a directory it means any file in the directory may be created or deleted now third is execute permission that means file can be executed as commands so if you write shell command you need to provide execute permission to that file so that it can have execute permission if it's applied on a directory that means content of the directory can be accessed depending on the permissions of the file in the directory so uh, it looks little confusing on the execute side on the on directory but there is a difference so normally when uh, you, when a user has read permission it can read the content of the directory like the file names but if it has execute permission that means not only file names can be read but also rest of the uh, metadata like different permissions whatever the time it was modified these details can be accessed when there is an execute permission on the directory now let's see these things in action before that um, these three categories uh, they're like uh, these permissions can be applied on three categories three different categories one is at the user level one is at owner level and one is one at others level let me correct so the three categories on which the permissions can be defined are user group and others so we see that uh, you see the file permissions are total nine in number so one two three one two three uh, so let's see the first one that is directory or a file we'll have one two three one two three and one two three this d denotes that this is a directory and with stash it's not a directory so three levels of permissions are there so first three values are read write and dash that means it it's for user user has read permission write permission but no execute permission the second triplet is read write dash same as the first one that means user has read permission write permission and no so this is for group so whatever group the user is associated with that is student one that has read write permission on this particular file so whoever belongs to this particular group they have this read write permission on this particular file now what for others so if a, another user who did not belong to this particular student one group or it's not student user then it has got only read permission all right so we can very well go ahead and change the permissions the changing of permissions can be done in two different ways one is we call relative method 
that is also called symbolic symbolic method and second is absolute method that is numeric method so we'll see that in action because just talking about this permission uh, may not make more sense so let's see what symbolic method is that is called re relative method all right to show you the example of symbolic method we'll first create a file touch we'll create a test file and let me give zero permission to test uh, we'll we'll talk about our exact examples so if you do ls minus l on test file you'll see there's no permissions on this particular file now we need to change the permission so let's see for user will give read and execute or let's say for user will give write and execute permission so we'll type chmod uh, for user we will add write and execute permission to which file test file now let's see what happened for user we gave write and execute permission all right now suppose we have added the permission you can also remove the permission let's see chmod uh, for user let's remove the write permission for test so write permission got removed now this was for user what about for groups and others so let's see chmod for group let's add execute permission for test file right we got execute permission for test file this is for group and last three is for others let's try adding read write execute permission to others so we will say chmod others we will add read write and execute to which file test file now we see that the others has got read write execute permission this is not a good practice to give read write or full permission to others in general until and unless there is a necessity for it so let's remove this uh, permissions from this test file so again chmod for whom others what you want to do let's remove the write and execute permission for which file test file so others has got only read permissions so this was about symbolic method or what we call relative method now what about absolute method or numeric method so then you see the numbers that i typed here these are absolute method let's see what it means so there are we, we spoke like there are three kind of permission read write and execute for execute we have two to the power zero that is one number allocated for write we have two to the power one that is two number allocated and for read the maximum number we allocate is four that is two to the power two so it's very simple for execute two to the power zero for write two to the power one and read two to the power two so four plus two plus one that is equal to seven so minimum permission one can give to a file is zero and maximum one can give to file is seven so seven means read write execute read write execute and read write execute that's what we just gave now what we what if we want to change the number so suppose you want to give read write only so read is four write is two that means six so change permission six that is read and write to to the owner of this or to the user of this particular file right what about for group for group let's say uh, we'll just give read permission read is four and what about others no permission zero to which file test file so we gave six that is read write to user for group we gave four that is only read permission and for others we gave zero that means no permission so once again read is equal to four write is equal to two and execute equal to one read is equal to two to the power two write is equal to two to the power one and execute is equal to two to the power zero 
minimum permission permission possible is 000, zero, zero. first number is for user second for group third for other maximum permission possible 777 seven, seven. that is read write execute read write execute read write execute so this is one of the reasons why typically people don't use antiviruses on linux system because by default execute permission is not given for all the files or other users so hope this tutorial is helpful for you you might have learned something new go ahead and as i say practice and well if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe thanks for watching this tutorial guys see you in the next tutorial